What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Porch Shop here and I'm coming at you with a new installment I've been working on that I've been wanting to do for a while I should say and that is to play the game either it gives you two choices and you choose which one that you would rather have so without further ado let's get this started would you rather toilet paper a house or egg a house well I think I'd actually rather toilet paper a house uh, I've had both done to me, so it's not always fun. So I'm going to have to say I would rather toilet paper a house. And what do people say about it? Okay, maybe I was mistaken. Okay, the next one. Okay, here's the question. Would you rather live without your cell phone or live without your iPod? Well, let's see. I used to use iPod. I used to use an iPod, I should say, when it came to using my music because my phone, uh, the storage in the phone was not enough for my thousands upon thousands of songs that I have. So I now use my cell phone <laughs> as my music player. So I would probably say I can live without my iPod. I can't live without my cell phone. And 77, well, because I thought... I don't think many people have iPods these days, so that was an interesting question. Okay, would you rather travel the world confined to a wheelchair or spend your whole life in the same 200 mile radius? Wow. Well, is it an electronic wheelchair? I will answer a question with a question. Is it an electronic wheelchair? Because if it's those manual ones, like I really can't, I really can't go to places that I would like to go to and just a regular wheelchair. An electric one might be another story. Um, two mile, 200 mile radius. So Amarillo and the Texas Panhandle is the 200 mile radius, which I currently live in. So I think I'd rather travel the world in a wheelchair. And I am part of the popular consensus. So, okay. Would you rather eat only or drink only? Okay, and I said that backwards. Only eat or only drink. Um, this is funny, though, because I actually, you, as y'all well may know, I do food reviews. So, I think I'd rather eat only. Simple as that. And, of course, that's the popular consensus. Because, like, a lot of food that you eat has, like, juices in it. You know, like, fruit and vegetables and stuff like that. It already has, like, juices inside of it. So, technically, you're getting a little drink whenever you eat stuff like that. Would you rather have, would you rather live in a giant shoe or live in a giant peach? So I'm either the old lady that lives in a shoe or I'm James and the giant peach. Um, the old lady that lived in the shoe had so many kids, her uterus fell out. Just kidding, that's an Andrew Dice Clay joke. Uh, live in a giant peach, James and the giant peach with all of the creatures that he lived with. I'd rather think I'd rather live in a giant peach. Even though it depends on what kind of shoe is it. Is it like a Nike? Or is it like a, like, hooker boot? Because if it's a hooker boot, that means I have a lot of space to work with. But a giant peach would be kind of cool. And I think it's a really good movie. So, James and the Giant Peach wins by a landslide. Would you rather have an iPhone or have an Android device? Well, I guess my, this is an iPhone, so I have an iPhone. So, iPhones win. Duh. And the phone just rang, speaking of phone. Would you rather never be able to hear your favorite song again or never be able to watch your favorite movie again? Oh my gosh, I have so many favorite movies. Like, I don't just have one. I can probably watch a handful of movies. But I would rather not be able to watch my favorite movie again. Even though I love movies, music is life. And okay, I'm not in the popular belief on that one. I'll answer a couple more, and then I'll call this an installment. Would you rather win a $5,000 shopping spree to any store, or win a 10-day free vacation to any destination? Oh, you see? If I get a 10-day free vacation, I want it to be in, like, multiple places. Like, I want to be able to go to Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I'm going to take you to Bermuda, Bahama. Come on, pretty mama. Key Lago, Montego. That's the type of places I want to go. Or Phoenix, Arizona, all the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, L.A. That's the type of 10-day vacation I would like. So I'm going to have to say a $5,000 shopping spree. So that way I can get a new wardrobe and I can get 
I can get a new setup and everything. So $5,000. Okay, yeah, see, a lot of people would rather take the vacation, but I want to go to multiple destinations. I don't want to stay in one place. Okay, if you owned a time machine, would you rather be... Okay, a DeLorean or a telephone booth. See here, Back to the Future, Doc Brown, Marty McFly, DeLorean wins. And, of course, people say telephone booth because we have a lot of Doctor Who fans probably in the world. Hi, Doctor Who fans. I'm more of a Back to the Future fan, so I'm sorry about you. Okay, I'll do two more. Would you rather walk across a mile of hot burning coals or walk across a mile of Legos? Oh my gosh. It doesn't specify if I'm wearing shoes or not, but I'm going to assume that this is barefoot. Um, a mile in hot coals a mile on Legos. So either way, my feet are screwed. My feet are done. Either way. I'm just going to go ahead and have to say this is a hard one. Wow. Of course, one of the last ones I do, it's going to be the, one of the hardest ones I do. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to go with burning coals. Because if I do it fast enough, it probably won't hurt as much as walking on Legos. This is like a torture. This is like a jigsaw from Saw question. It's like, before you are two paths, one, you must walk a mile in hot coals. The other, a mile in Legos. You have one hour to finish. Let the game begin. So, I'm going to go hot coals. 81% <laughs> say Legos. Wow. Wow. I guess I'm totally indifferent on that one. Okay, last one. Would you rather have squirrels for hands or guinea pigs for feet? Well, squirrels for hands, I can get a lot of stuff done. Imagine me as like a guitar player with squirrels. I could be like Vinnie Vincent, Eddie Van Halen, Randy Rhodes all combined. Just, just like tear up the world as a guitar player with squirrels for hands. Guinea pigs for feet, though, I could potentially beat Usain Bolt in a race. But I'd rather be a rock star than an athlete. So let's go squirrels for hands. That's the last one. Oh, for God's sakes, come on. You gotta you gotta look at this in like a musical aspect. Like any instrument you play from now on, you're gonna be like the fastest and greatest thing to ever happen. But that's just my opinion. So guys, would you like me to do this either series and keep this like as a regular thing going? I might do one like once a week or maybe once a month, bi-weekly. What do you guys think? What should I do? Leave it down below. Facebook, Vine, Twitter, Snapchat. You know the drill. And as always, you can hit that subscribe button right there to become a piglet to stay in touch with my videos. You can also go like me on Facebook, follow me on Vine, Twitter, Snapchat, like I just mentioned. All those links are down in the description. Please also, down below this video, the subscribe button has a annotation button. Click that and you will get notified every single time I upload a video, whether it be a food review, a brand new series like this, gameplay, vlogs, Chris and I's pick them. It doesn't matter. You guys will get notified every time I upload a video. So, guys, thank you all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little pig. Let's call him Porkchop. Loves you all the most. So, y'all take it easy, guys. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.